You guys, I have boarded. Send it out here, I come. I don't mind. I've been a lot of videos. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've been all Thank over you, the Moses. world. I'm not, I, I don't go. Tra I don't travel yet. I'm, I've been part of what? the world. Yet. hi guys and welcome to today's episode of my travel yes if you're new here i'm sure you're wondering what's happening so in the last video we left off where we went to stamp out from senegal and yeah right now we are stamping into gambia so we got to um the border did the whole stamping and yeah they charged us on both ends and i got a new sim i got some gambian dalasi and then we started our journey to where we would board the ferry going to banjo it's at barra but i saw con you guys already know i have a crazy obsession so i had to beg the driver to please stop so that i can buy roasted corn because guys i am crazy over roasted corn but yeah we bought and then we continued our journey to barra so that we can board the ferry going to banjo gambia yes and guys when we got here ah there were a lot of people like you guys there was a, there were a lot of people they were just waiting for the next ferry to arrive and you guys it was so 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 hot on this day like if you think nigeria is hot Wait till you experience Senegal and Gabia. Like I was almost melting. But as soon as the ferry came, everybody started running. Like you guys, it was not a small risk. Everybody was their load. They were running to just make sure they go and secure a space on the ferry. We got there and guys, everywhere was literally choked. Like even cars, they had already gotten on the ferry. Human beings were trying to squeeze themselves anywhere they could practically squeeze themselves. And then as soon as we were fully loaded, the ferry started going down to Banjo. I went upstairs to at the top of the ferry rather to sit and just sightsee, see how beautiful it is. And this is exactly what it looks like. It was actually a fun experience. And yeah, maybe like less than an hour later, we got to banjo and guys i was just so excited and, and very very tired i was excited for gambia of course and the whole tour here but i was really tired so i just retired straight to my room you guys i just got to my airbnb it's been just so exhausting like you guys i look like a crazy person <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see me but yeah um the room they had is a twin room this bed that looks ancient you guys this is a budget trip I'm more focused on my flight and uh, the experience than where I sleep. And this is the inner bed. So I have two beds to pick from. And then my bathroom. Spacious. I need a shower. Oh, yeah, guys. Yeah. So, as usual, we encountered normal immigration. Pay this one, pay that one. This is now a norm in Africa. But you guys, I have work to get to. So, I want to do that. And yeah before it gets too late, so I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Hi guys, another day. You guys see, I am so stressed out. I'm actively working, creating content for you guys, editing it and posting it in real time. So it's a lot on me. And I forgot, yeah, it's true. If you're new here, my name is Sheta and I create content in Abuja, Nigeria. You are welcome. This is a full series, just in case you're confused what's happening here, okay? So, yeah, guys, it's been a lot. It's been stressful, but I promise to, you know, be consistent on here with the long-form content. Um, Today, we have a full Gambian day tour, and I'm excited for that. I got up, got ready, and I want to head for breakfast first before the tour, okay? So yeah, I decided to update you guys and also greet you guys for the new bees. Make sure you subscribe because see, 
you guys the old ones will give you gist in the comment section now, it's so much fun on here so much fun you will definitely enjoy it also if you've been enjoying all these vlogs the episodes let me know below okay to encourage me let me know below and uh, yeah guys let's get to breakfast <laughs> Come on, you guys. What they offered me for breakfast was not it at all. So I'm just going to go for my tour. And today, you guys, I'm going to search for Gampi and your love. <laughs> well, you guys, I'll keep you guys updated, okay? When we're ready for the tour. <laughs> The roads I saw at Banjo was really really clean but yeah guys we started off our tour with the Bijilo Monkey Park so when you get here you make your payment and then we started walking into the forest you guys you start seeing monkeys like you literally start seeing them on the road and they were actually cute and not aggressive which is one thing I gave to them so we're just going in and guys the more we went in the more you're seeing like a lot of monkeys and in no time we're literally like filled with a lot of monkeys like it was scary for me oh, i mean because i'm not someone who is very very comfortable with monkeys so now it's time to take pictures with them so you hold food on your neck and they jump and guys for some reason i was just so scared the thing is i like animals i mean i'm sure you'll be like this is someone that did the lion walk the day before i like animals but don't touch me but this one they had to touch you but guys i power through it you guys see my facial expression now i did it multiple times and after that i yeah i got the hang of it with the support from my tour guide and then i went when we're going out i saw this whole um fridge magnet thing yeah you guys know now i have my fridge mag magnet wall of fame so i bought this one i held on to after which we proceeded to the kachikali crocodile pool and museum so getting here I just saw a crocodile casually sleeping on the floor and guys my heart literally almost left my chest mine i've been a lot of videos <laughs> <laughs> i've been Thank all over you, the Moses. world i'm not I, I don't go i don't travel yet i'm i've been part of what the yeah Shit, man this but is crazy is very <laughs> oh my no. god are you no, kidding the around to bite you because you don't need his tail to whip you up huh? and this tail here you can see very sure. strong i have never been scared in my whole life to touch a crocodile <laughs> guys but i did it too i did it anyways after that they showed us some of the crocodile eggs and then took us to the museum to just show us around the museum there was a lot to see and hear if you're someone who loves history there was a whole lot about the history of gambia here <laughs> one of the craziest presidents here in Africa of modern days, in Germany. Why? So we went to the museum and did all that we needed to do, after which we headed to the Independence Monument in Banjo. This road was called the Independence Drive in Gambia. So it's basically where the Independence Monument was built. You would see an I Love Banjo sign where you can take photos and videos. And then you climb upstairs. It's a, I think, 100 stair building where you hear and see a lot of history about Gambia, the story about the whole independence in Gambia. And the most beautiful part about most independent monuments just like this is that you get to see the beautiful city of Banjo at a glance. Banjo is a really small city I mean and if you can see this is literally all there is to it by the monument structure there is a stadium and if you look at the other side you'll see the I love Banjo signage and Banjo is a really really neat and pretty country so next up was a local market in Gambia we wanted to see if we can find some souvenirs to give family and friends so we went here now when I got to the shop I did not buy anything and that's because for the most part, most of these things you see here, you'll typically find them in other countries. This was about the same thing I saw in Kenya, Togo, Benin Republic, Ghana. So I didn't really have need to buy any of these things here. But then I saw this jewelry um, set. I mean, it's fake gold. But yeah, I bought it for some people. And then we went to Senegambia. So guys, I was in a hunt for... I was on a hunt for gambian benachin i went to this restaurant they didn't have it so i had to go to another restaurant and by the way yeah benachin means jollof in wolof one of the popularly spoken languages in senegal and gambia so yeah here we saw 
Gambian Cholof and I was so excited guys so I placed my order waited for it you guys see at this point I've heard so much about Gambian Jollof that I was literally looking forward to it like I was like I need to try this Jollof because you guys have overhyped it but anyways I got to my room and then I just unpackaged it and guys see the redness of this thing like it was so red like I just knew that this had to taste good and yeah I've posted a separate video on my review of this Gambian Benachin so go and check it out if you have not but yeah just a long and short it was good i loved it So guys while i pack up i'll make the shout out for today so if you're new here we do shout out for small youtubers to give them a push i needed it when i started and that's my reason for doing this and today's shout out goes to ude favorite chingwindu she creates lifestyle and natural hair content you guys should go check her out and support her by subscribing and interacting with her videos and if you need your own shout out do let me know the name of your channel and what you do and you just might be the next to get a shout out hi guys so you guys were checking out of gambia right now i absolutely enjoyed gambia if you have not visited there's a lot to come and visit in the gambia so you should definitely plan to come um i am returning back to senegal because i didn't do a lot of um activities when i landed in senegal i just came straight to gambia so i'm going back there for a few tour around senegal and yeah you guys will see all of that in my next video so rush okay i go and uh, subscribe if you have not so you so that you don't miss out on it and yeah tell me what part of this vlog did you enjoy the most um yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode of this series bye this is the reason why africans don't visit africans we make life hell for ourselves